actress Lucy Liu decided to fully make the move back to New York City in 2019 when she sold her only property left in Los Angeles. She let go of her craftsman style home in the Fryman Canyon area of LA for just over $3 million. And despite selling off a pair of luxe condos in Manhattan around the same time, she kept another place there to call home. In 2018, Lucy quietly purchased a modest two bedroom condo on a lower floor of an opulent and bow arts building in the flat iron district of NYC where she reportedly lives now. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lucy Liu is an actress, producer, director, and artist who starred in many movies and series over her successful career from the show Elementary to films like Charlie's Angels, Kill Bill Volume 1, and much more. Born in Queens, New York, Lucy continued to call the Big Apple home for a while, attending university in the city as well. Well, the New York-based actress seemingly decided a few years back to move there full-time once again when she sold her last and only property on the West Coast. Lucy downsized in 2018 to a modest but most likely chic unit in an upscale building in the Flatiron District of Manhattan and a year later sold two of her other multi-million dollar condos located nearby. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the homes of Lucy Liu. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2019, soon after selling her spread in Los Angeles, Lucy Liu surprisingly also sold off two of her condominiums in the same swanky boutique building in the Flatiron District of New York City with price tags of just over $2.9 million each. The stylish Flatiron District is a neighborhood named after the iconic wedge-shaped Flatiron building and it's home to soaring apartment buildings and office high-rises. Locals and tourists frequent the hip bar bars, stalls, an Italian food emporium Italy, and cool food trucks along 5th Avenue. Another focal point in this area is Madison Square Park. Lucy bought these two apartments in two separate transactions, the first in early 2005, and the second one the following year for a total of about $4 million. The completely separate condos each span 1,816 square feet each, and they're two of the townhouse style building's five luxury units. The upper unit had a private a key lock elevator entry and had been professionally decorated throughout. There were also 10 foot tall ceilings overhead and an open concept living area with a loft style. This area combined the living room, dining room, and high end kitchen while spanning over 40 feet in length. Some features here included a gas fireplace as well as a custom shuttered windows with south facing views. While the fireplace added a much needed element of warmth to the otherwise sleek room. Room. There were two ensuite bedrooms here with a total of three bathrooms as well as a den. Over in the lower level unit, there was also a 40 foot long combination living dining kitchen area with a gas fireplace too and the same custom window situation. This one too had a private elevator entryway and elsewhere an office or a den. The kitchens in both of the apartments had plenty of casual space to dine along with stainless steel appliances including massive refrigerators. The master suite in this condo was made up of a spacious bedroom, a marble bath with deep soaking tub, and a separate glass enclosed steam shower. Not to mention, Lucy also had an oversized dressing room and walk-in closet. At the time of sale, it wasn't clear whether the units were sold to one owner or separately. One buyer had snagged them both, the two units could have had the possibility of being merged into one massive modern luxury home. But regardless of selling both these homes, Lucy still has a place in New York City where she currently lives. While she keeps this home under tight wraps, back in 2018, reportedly the actress quietly bought a condo on a lower floor of a restored Beaux Arts building in the same Flatiron District neighborhood. Her current condo is set to span 1,800 square feet of space with two beds and 2.5 baths throughout. In 2019, 
2019, Lucy also sold her longtime home in the Fryman Canyon enclave of Los Angeles. So let's take a look at that home next. In 2019, Lucy let go of her longtime property in Los Angeles for $3.06 million. And while it seems like a lot of cash, it's a lot lower than the price tag she had before of $3.5 million and the original ask of $4.1 million. The Craftsman style home was located in the Fryman Canyon Enclave on Alifi Street, which was in the Studio City area of LA. Lucy had bought the home back in 2001 for an unknown amount from actress Patricia. Patricia Arquette, and the current owner, whom Lucy sold to, is a finance executive from Hong Kong. Inside, the floor plan spans just under 4,100 square feet of space with four bedrooms and five bathrooms throughout. Her abode was hidden behind some trees and bushes high above the street for extra privacy, but also had a shared driveway and was built in the late 1950s as a craftsman type home. Each of the handful of bathrooms also featured beautiful handmade ceramic tiles. A cozy entrance hall decked out with cherry wood paneling opens up once inside Lucy's former home and leads into the living and dining rooms. The living room here boasted a corner fireplace adding a homey vibe to the space with a mirror above as well as a floor to ceiling wall of windows and rich matching hardwood cherry floors underfoot. The dining room offered a chandelier shaped like palm leaves, a long slim window spanning the length of one wall as well as access out to a small deck which looked out over the woods. The near my kitchen was full of top of the line stainless appliances, which you might expect from any home with a celebrity pedigree, along with tiled flooring and white cabinetry. There was also a breakfast room lined with windows and shiny black and green tiles. A separate family room here had a laid back feel to it with a patterned and pressed tin ceiling, as well as a TV and another corner fireplace. This one with a unique design, apparently resembling the famed Spanish architecture architect Anthony Gaudi. There was also an office with wood beam ceiling and a large picture window overlooking more leafy views. Lucy's one-time master suite was also located on the main level and it was exceptionally spacious with gold fabric inserts and a wall of French doors with backyard access. Of course, there was also its very own sitting area. The luxe and tiled ensuite bathroom had a glass shower as well as a separate soaking tub. Two of the three guest bedrooms also had their own sitting areas and plenty of space. One one room nearly all decked out in wood paneling and looking fancy, and another with a more open feel and wall of glass sliders directly out to the yard. Once out in the backyard of the home, there was a swimming pool and elevated spa built into flagstone terracing, and elsewhere there was even a charming tea house. A set of stone steps connects the pool complex to the grassy lawn, which had plenty of trees and greenery for a woodsy feel. Okay everyone, we've looked at a few of Lucy Liu's homes now, so that's gonna conclude this house tour. While we aren't able to take a look at her current Manhattan apartment because, well, she keeps it so private, we did get to see her former craftsman house in Los Angeles and two condos she sold in New York City. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite property of hers was definitely the unique LA home she used to live at. Be sure to let me know yours in the comments down below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and if you want to see my new house, then check it out on our personal channel where I posted a tour. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!